now dear student we are going to discuss question number 8.8 .8 and in this question it is given to you a comet orbits the sun in an highly elliptical orbit clear so let's suppose i am saying to you uh, let's suppose here we have let's suppose this is a position of a sun clear and let's suppose i am saying this is comet clear and it is given in a question uh, this comet is actually revolving around this sun in an elliptical orbit so let's suppose like this clear to you now we can say let's suppose this is line joining between sun and this comet and let's suppose i am saying this is r clear now in this question it is given does the comet have a constant number one linear speed clear so linear speed means we can say definitely this comet is going with certain velocity v clear now we know if we are talking about this point and let's suppose if i am talking about this point clear so one point is very very near or nearest to this sun clear and we can say this point is at actually far away from the position of a sun clear actually we can say uh, all planets revolve around a sun and sun is situated at one of the focus clear so let's suppose this is position of a focus this is not a center clear so at that time i can say here we have one position so at this position when this uh, comet is near to this sun definitely its speed will be more compared to this position clear it means we can say at each and every point velocity of comet is changing that's why we can say if we are just talking about linear speed this linear speed not remain constant clear so i can say answer of part number a we have this is no clear it means i can say linear speed or linear velocity it will not remain constant clear actually if we are talking about velocity the direction of velocity at each and every point is changing clear so that is entirely different clear but if we are talking about linear speed so we can say here magnitude of magnitude of velocity that is also changing clear that's why we can say uh, linear speed it will not remain constant clear now if we are talking about uh, angular speed clear so definitely we can say angular speed it will also changes clear angular speed is also changes and we can say yes uh, definitely this value we have no clear now if i'm talking about part number c so in part number c it is given to you angular momentum clear so always keep in mind whenever any planet or any comet that is revolving around sun at that time we can say the uh, total angular momentum always remains conserved this is one of the uh, this is actually one of the good question that may be asked from here whenever a planet is revolving around sun in an elliptical orbit which physical quantity remains conserved that is uh, we can say angular momentum clear you can see like this actually angular momentum this one is given by m r cross v clear m r cross v so you will find at every position angle between this r and v vector we have always that is uh, actually we are talking about this l this is equal to m r cross v clear r is given to you in this position clear and here we have v clear so if we are talking about this physical quantity this physical quantity always remains conserved clear because we can say for a particular point we have constant r we have constant v clear and we can see uh if you are talking about l clear so angular momentum angular momentum that is we can say we can write like this m1 r1 and we can say v1 m1 v1 r1 this should be equal to m2 v2 r2 clear to everyone so now we can say magnitude wise it will remain same and what about the direction of angular momentum direction of angular momentum will always we will find that is r cross v we can say this is r vector clear and this is v so we can say if we curl our finger from r to v clear it will give you the di direction of angular momentum and the direction is given by this uh, perpendicular to this screen clear so question we have that <coughs> whenever a comet is revolving around uh, around sun in an elliptical orbit angular momentum is conserved yes definitely angular momentum conserved clear now now if i'm talking about part number d clear so in part number d it is given to you what about kinetic energy now you can say kinetic energy is given by half of mv square clear and we can say value of v is changing 
clear it means magnitude of velocity changing so i can say definitely kinetic energy it will also changes clear so our objective in this question is to find constant quantity so i can say definitely kinetic energy it will not remain conserved or we can say kinetic energy also changes from point to point clear so this is all about part d now if i am talking about number e potential energy so we can say with the time position of a comet with respect to sun is changing clear so definitely i can say yes potential energy is also changing so we can say potential energy also not remain constant clear now what about total energy clear what about total energy so always keep in mind whenever a comet is actually revolving around sun at the time we can say total energy is given by sum of kinetic energy and potential energy definitely we can say when potential energy is decreases at the same time kinetic energy is increases or when kinetic energy decreases we can say potential energy decrease increases it means i can say if we are talking about total energy total energy so total energy it always remains constant yes i can say it always remains constant clear so this is all about this question